Hello everyone, this is Akira Dreher, and this is Aurora. You are currently seeing only a portion of the screen. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna try to, uh, record this. Uh, this is a game I currently have running. I'll be switching to a new game, but I wanted to, uh, show a few things about this first. Uh, let's zoom in. Um, well, first of all, uh, this currently should be at the top of the screen that's it's showing. I'm going to switch it down to more in the middle, but uh, this is just all the toolbar and stuff and increments that you can advance the time from 5 seconds up to 30 days and uh, various other things. But because I'm going to be playing this and uh, this is all just stuff that's going to pop up like when I press this. Give it a second apparently. Okay, that popped up on the wrong window. But yeah. It just pops up screens as it you press them, so you don't actually need to see all this stuff. Just so you know, it's up here, and then this is now. I'll move the uh, screen down to where it should be. Vroom. There we go. Uh, yeah. If we back up, we'll notice that we can back up quite a bit. Quite a bit. Um, I don't think there's anything too far out because this is just like the. Uh, solar system but yeah getting closer you'll see the names and you probably already saw it since it's a thing but this is earth or not earth uh, bleh, this is earth solar system it's a 4x space game and yeah I'm going to um some of the really nice things is the freeform design of ships. Let's bring that up. Uh, this is one of the ships I've designed. Uh, if I come over here to component, no, uh, or no, um, oh, because I built it, it's already set up, so I can't show you the building. So I'll just make a new one that I can probably delete. Um, yeah, it's very freeform. You can make a ship with anything and there's a bunch of different components that you research and everything uh, and with those components you can actually design them themselves so if we was a button down there and on that button it was just design a tech I could choose like say I want a special engine using my latest thing um, engine power so I want it to have a not very powerful but it'll save on fuel consumption uh, here's another thing it's just I've researched it so it's a uh, more efficient thermal reduction doesn't really matter uh, but it doesn't seem to really do much for the cost which is uh, down here and then hull size right now it's uh, five hull size which is um I think each hull size is like 50 tons or something. So, uh, yeah, this is a big thing. But uh, the smaller it is, the... Well, the math is right here. Where power square of that. So, 2 times is 5.66 fuel. Normal. Uh, and as it said, as it says below that, engines of 25 hull size are greater have a power and a power of 50 or less which mine does are classed as commercial so 25 and I could design this actually I think I might um, what's my current thing what did I call it ah this is the engine I currently have so it's actually I think I had a uh, thing I was using for this world to determine made many things so there's not much but uh engine format oh right hmm well I showed this so I can just move it onto my other window which is going to be vitally important if I'm actually going to end up being able to do this LP thing let's see I'll name it com because it's commercial the engine tech is nuclear pulse I thought that was what I had on the other one. Nuclear thermal. Oh yeah, the other one was NT, which is nuclear thermal. Not. And the engine power is 50. Let's see, engine power mod. It's too 
five. And then the uh, fuel consumption is 0. 0.6. And it's 25 all size. And create. And I just create a design for a new engine. And then I can go, I don't instantly get it. There's a, I had to actually research the very design itself. Uh, here's the uh, research window. You'll notice it's on long with other things. I've got colonies, air quotes, on some other planets. There are none that I can actually uh, live on. They're just colonies because you need to set up it in the books as a colony so you can put mines and stuff on it. So I've got some auto mines on like Mercury because it's got a bunch of uh, trans... Let's see, trans... Dang it! Trans... It's got some cool minerals that break how the fabric of reality work or something. I don't know. Um... Insert sci-fi wording to make it sound reasonable that all the stuff works. Trans-Newtonian. There we go. But yeah, so I've got on some asteroids and stuff. But yeah, back to Earth and the research. I That was a... Let's see. Uh, that was, that'd be power, power and propulsion. There's the... Uh, tech right there and if I look over here I've got some scientists um here's a 20 power propulsion but actually I'm going to have to uh, remove a lab from one of those and then I can create this it'll put up a pop-up like this All my windows are on the other screen at the moment and uh, it'll finish the 16th of December it's currently October of that year so I'll have to advance the days a little bit so 30 days it'll take a bit apparently it takes a bit longer while recording so that's a thing um also if you notice in the background the uh, thing actually has all the orbits and stuff um including these and stuff though i can turn off the orbits of those if i want to i have them on because they look nice though if it really affects it, i might Turn it off. Actually, it's the 11th of December. I don't know why it's off. I try to keep it so it's the first of the month. And Freeze, the person that made this, just has a... There we go. Or, no. Um, once more. There we go. It's been researched. And I'll uh, tick the days. Literally. Add that back on. There we go. 1st of January, uh... 2068. I had the start year be uh, next year for my own reasons, so that was a thing. So now I have that tech, and if I go back into the class design, I could add it to this new one. And here it is. Or, no, here it is. Yeah, nuclear pulse. Uh, it's actually less cost and requires less crew. It's about the same stuff. Um, actually, I'm going to go in a uh, imp geo. Hmm. Copy design. Rename. Just pop up a window like this. Mark two. And with this, I'm going to go and remove the old engine. And add on that one. 3,000, yeah, that should be fine. And then we can uh, compare the differences. Um, if, if you're getting bored just watching this, um, this probably isn't going to be the Let's Play for you. Um, though I will keep it more as a... Uh, uh, here's an update, and then I'm going to go off and do some more stuff, and then here's an update. And there is space combat, and you can do just as much with the military ships designing them and the weapons. You design each missile you make, or not each missile, but each type of missile you use, you design that. And it's really interesting if you're into this kind of stuff. If anything, this is definitely going to be uploaded just to show people the uh the game and give it a little more 
Oh, hmm. Sorry, I guess the full summary is about the best I can get for that. Let's see. Yeah, and the difference is the fuel use range. Yeah, um, the big difference is because I've improved the fuel efficiency so much and reduced the power, the, uh, it goes from 5,500-ish days at full power to uh, 23,800 days at full power. Though, uh, it should reduce the speed, I think. Where's the speed? No, it goes the same speed. So this is, the Mark II is overall just a better ship. Um, I think I need to. Let's see, yeah, I'm going to have to get used to uh, realizing where the bounding box for my recording is. So maybe that'll... But yeah, there we go. So that's uh, it's gonna be that. Uh, how many spare bursts? It's got two spare bursts. That's good enough, I guess. Yeah, that, that seems good. Yeah. So yeah, there's all kinds of customization for something like that. And with that, I'm actually going to go. Hmm. Let's see. Alpha. Actually, I don't think I do it from this screen. Where is my shipyard? Managed shipyard, yes. Construction refit to. Let's see. New class. No, not you. That to. Huh, why isn't it working? It should be exactly the same. Assigned class. Can I just, uh, construct it here? Hmm. That's interesting. Why is it letting me do that? Um, oh, and, uh, as should be obvious, I am not particularly... Oh, is it at the, uh... Yeah, that's the naval shipyard. Uh, commercial... Commercial is what I want. Instead of... Oh, I don't actually have a any shipyard assigned to making something that size, so I'd have to actually make a shipyard. Let's see. Not spaceport. Shipyard. Shipyard, where are you? Naval, no. Oh, okay, so it'll have the uh, commercial. There we go. Commercial shipyard. I'll make one of those with 100% of my industry. Um, I'll move my converting mines to automated down since it's got... Oh, wait, that's actually finishing this month. Uh, sure, just go 30 days, I guess. Okay. Oh, right. Uh, no, move that down. It's not actually... Uh, about to be done. What it is is I don't have the minerals for it. That's how come I have all these uh, all of these over here. I uh, shipped out auto mines with uh, mass drivers. That's the word. Mass drivers. And uh, yeah, this is the mineral I'm missing. <laughs> so yeah. Um, oh right. This is where it is in 30 days. Let's see, April, February, March, April. So this should be done another 30 day increment. No? Oh, right, because April 1st, I'm not going for April, I'm going for May. There we go. And then I have a new rename shipyard. And uh, I'm using generic names for these since this is just a Hmm. It's just a game of my own that I was doing mostly to remember how to do everything. And then retool for selected class, and I'll do the Mark II, I guess. Set activity. Um, when will it be done? Eh, 30 days should make it be done. Okay. And then over here, I can refit to actually I don't know if that'll be on screen I'll have to definitely something I'm gonna have to work on refit to 
old one, new class, no ship of this class in orbit. Hmm? But from that, why isn't there one in orbit? Where are they? That's a good question. Where are you? Not you. You should be good enough. Where are you? Okay, just uh, move to. Let's see. Earth's over there. Where is it? Oh, there they are. Yeah, so they're coming to Earth. Uh, I guess they just kind of stopped wherever they were. Actually, that's a good point. Uh, are the rest of them just kind of out in the middle of nowhere? Because these are uh, geo-survey ships. What they do is they survey a planet for minerals and stuff. Uh, he doesn't have anything. So... Hmm... Yeah, just move to. Or, no, not. No, don't move to there. Remove. Earth. Move to. And then my third group. I should really have them each in their own group. Just so that I can, uh. Because I could. But, uh. I have them two to a group, so that should be fine, I guess. 30 days. And they're all more. They're all moving towards Earth now. And uh, right now I'm just fooling around with the soul system because that's all I have right now. Uh, there are definitely enough other solar systems out there and I just don't have the technology right now to actually go there. So that's a thing. You. You're going to refit to new class, mark two, refit the MGO ship name, MGO one, yes. And this will be completed January. So this will be completed right away, basically. And, uh, Available shipyards is now down to none because it doesn't have any extra. We go and now the one will be refitted to that. Mark two from. You know, why aren't you letting me do that? Hmm, that's weird. Oh well. Um, eh, for right now, I'll just add another extra slipway. Or, yeah, this is the uh, places where ships are built or. Or various things like that. And there's the cost compared to how much we have. Here we go. And that will complete July. So that's a thing. But since I did the one thing. I can open up this panel again. Go back to here. And while it still has. Oh, I thought I changed it. Oh yeah. Here it is. It's a Mark II now. So it's the same speed. It just takes less fuel and it has a smaller thermal signal which is important because you find enemies quite easily um, I think I'm actually going to uh, since I'm at about 20 minutes right now I'm going to let's see close this and open an, and make a new world so that's a thing and welcome to my background it's just the evolutions Let's see, no, no, um, game. Hmm, I guess I had to actually start it over again, I guess. I haven't really bothered with uh, having multiple saves before, so I never really had anything with it. But sure, we'll exit it. Yeah, quit. And then we'll go and open it up. takes just a moment uh, I'm using a uh, an extra thing on it 
whereas the I'm using a portable version. Someone made one for it. It just makes it a lot easier. But it's basically just the actual game. It doesn't up... I guess I should talk more about the game itself. Or not the game itself, but various things. Uh, yeah, the current game I'm playing, I named Test Game. I'll make a new one. That pulls up this screen. Let's see. LP game. Space Master is just a password you could add on to it so other people couldn't play your thing. Um, and I will make this 2015 as well. And uh, basically, this game is made by one man. Not basically, it is made by one man. So that's the thing. Let's see, where is it? Ah, real star systems. This basically just makes the stars that you visit all be after real stars and stuff. Boom. Go away. I'm not going to have orbital motion for asteroids because uh, that seemed to be lagging a bit. What that? What turning the real star systems off is changing this local system gen percent is, uh, let's see, chance of a newly discovered place system having a system number close to that of a system from which it is entered. So basically this make is the chance that whenever you go through a, one of the things that jumps you across the universe, the chance of it being a close one is 50. I'm going to leave that. Maximum difference in system newly discovered and the system from which... Okay, yeah. Hmm. Okay, those aren't... Those don't really matter. They're the ones that grayed out. Yeah, I don't really want to change that. Difficulty is... Starting size of NPR, NPR... NPR is a non-player race. Um, I don't want to start with any starting races because I'm going to do a conventional start. Um, let's see, conventional start. Where is that? Conventional. Trans-Newtonian basically means you start with all the awesome stuff right away. Conventional means that uh, you actually have to research everything needed. Let's see, generate soul system and create... Uh, yeah, that's... I'll start with that. Uh, Space Master is basically the cheat mode, though not really, because some of the things, like if you start at the Trans-Newtonian and you don't assign start tech points automatically, you use it to auto-research the ones that you want up to that point. After that, if you keep using it, it's cheating, of course, but whatever. Uh, Non-MPR, computer opponents, precursors, these are, it basically, if you've played any other space game, it's pretty much what it sounds like. It's whatever ancient race there was, blah, 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 their robots hate us. Go figure. Extra Galactic, this is staying turned off because uh, this combined with these two could potentially cause extreme lag later on. Well, not lag. It's not lag. It's just a... Uh, I'll explain it later. Star Swarm. <laughs> this is an interesting one, and that's definitely staying on. Like I said, not doing that. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, not... Okay, this one is the uh, maintenance failure. Uh, commercial ships don't have it. Naval ships do. So we'll leave that. I'm going to not turn on jump gates on all jump points. Some jump points, which is how you get around jump gates. I was trying to remember what was why I didn't actually mention it directly. But yeah, it's um two jump gates or two jump points are connected to each other. or And then you go between them. And jump gates just let chips go. Otherwise, you need a jump engine, and if you want to bring ones that don't, blah, 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 stuff. Okay, commanders, realistic commander promotion. This option will allow to look after the promotions within your officer corps, basing them on skills, medals, and time and grade. So, yeah, this lets the computer take care of promotions and stuff for you. And then commander political bonus. I'm going to turn this off. So when using this option, this one makes its uh, officers can be promoted on political skills as well. Which is fine and all, but because of the backstory I'm going to be doing with this, not really.
Experience fleet penalty. This basically means you have to train your fleet somewhat before they're actually fully efficient. This one I already went over. This one is that. Let's see. Some other things here. 2015 difficulty, yes. Where's the one I want? Um, hmm. Starting population, all that. No. Where is the one I want? Ah, here we go. Non-player race generation chance. What this means is that if you go to a solar system and there's a planet on it that's inhabitable, whether it's oxygen, methane, and it fits within a certain range. Yes, they do have methane breathing races, but whatever. But yeah, if it fits within a certain range, there's a 30% chance that non-player race gets gen there. I'm going to flip it. There we go, 70%. I was considering 100, but eh, it'd be nice to actually find uh, not that. So, yeah. Uh, main Empire themes. All kinds of things. Let's see if there's one for what I want. No, there's not really. Okay. There's also Commander themes, which is just what name the uh, Commander has. Uh, there's a lot of interesting ones, like uh, Frangi, because <laughs> why not? Um, I think I'm going to use, yeah, Warhammer 40k. An Empire theme. I could use Warhammer 40k as well, I guess. Mmm. There's Orc. All kinds of interesting ones. I'm looking for one that... Ooh. Hmm. Ooh, that's tempting. Hmm. And, uh... Let's see. I... While I'm looking at this, I can keep talking. The uh, the guy who made it, he made it for himself. Uh, it's in VB6, Visual Basic 6, and it uses Access Database. It's basically just a graphic thing hooked onto a giant database. And go with that. Yeah, and that's pretty much how it's... He designed it to write his uh, stories with. It's based off of... Uh, Uh, I'm gonna have to actually look that up because it's pretty not important, but it's interesting. Uh, okay, this will work. Oh, let me move that out of the way. Let's see. I'm going to just read the description that the uh, Bay 12 forums uh, post for it, and the uh, thread for it, if you want to find it on Bay 12, is Aurora, the Dwarf Fortress of 4X Games. I'd kind of debate that a little bit since a Dwarf Fortress basically created its own category, but whatever. Um, the original post, uh, the first paragraph or so is just, uh, I'll read it. Recently I've stumbled upon an absolute jewel of a game called Aurora during my ongoing search for the best 4X game out there. I think I have a winner. This game is an independent project by a man named... Steve Wamsley. His income comes from online poker, and his spare time is consumed by developing and playing this game. Uh, the online poker thing, uh, that isn't quite true anymore. He's actually a developer for something like that. But, yeah, he did actually make his money with online poker for a while. Anyway, the game is 100% free, immensely detailed, and absolutely brilliant. The game is turn-based, with turn calculations anywhere from 5 seconds of the game to 30 days. There's a screen for a system map and galactic map. Most of the actual information is presented as columns and rows of text, but is very well presented and not cumbersome at all. Yep. Yeah, don't let the graphics and interface turn you off because the game has incredible depth. After all, there's a reason I called it Dwarf Fortress of 4X Games. Once again, this is by someone else who did the original post on the forum thread, anyway. It's a very open, almost sandbox-like 4X game that takes place in a procedurally generated universe of his own of his own creation. The universe has wonderful personality with orbiting planets, stars, moons, and asteroids. Of course, there are also ancient alien ruins and native life, from the hyper-advanced and long-gone precursors to modern Earth-like civilization civilizations, as well as other fledgling races just setting out to the stars. Slightly incorrect. Um. Uh, there are conventional races out there, but because Steve never got around to implementing correctly, uh, you basically have to be trans-Newtonian to actually get into space and do it without failing. Anyway, 
planets are very detailed with tectonics, atmospheres consisting of real gases, temperatures derived from the distance to the star, the axis of the planet, the warming or cooling effects of the atmosphere, and the reflectivity of the surface. The terraforming through air terraforming you can actually alter the makeup of the atmosphere to better suit your life, or you can land some terraforming ships on an enemy alien planet or on an enemy planet and suck the oxygen out of the atmosphere or pump it full of deadly chlorine. Some planets or other bodies contain any combination of dozens of minerals that are needed to run your industry and empire. They have an amount and an accessibility level that determines how fast you can mine them out. Ooh, this goes on for a while. Uh, your empire is a living and breathing creature with civilians conducting their own business among the stars. They can form corporations and trade among both local and foreign colonies or transport population to where they want to go as well as founding their own colonies or mining operations. Research and technology consists of major research projects from anything, for anything from improving industry to forming stargates or ICBMs as well as projects for designing and testing your own components, reactors, lasers, engines, turrets, missiles, etc. Ooh, long sentence. Uh, research projects are headed by elite scientists of your choice, each with their own skill and personality, with research labs and additional researchers to back them up. Your colony and ships can also be led by individuals with their own skills and personality. Ships and defenses are designed with components and technology that you researched. A great deal of thought must go into effective design. You have to factor in the weight of the ship and how it will affect the engines and fuel. Keep an eye on complexity. Make sure you have enough engineers and crew allowed, allocated to keep it running. Also make sure those lasers have proper tracking systems, sensors, and power to keep them running at top efficiency. And don't forget that your 12,000 speed turrets need, fa need fast enough tracking to keep up or the enemy sh missiles will fly right through. Search the stars enough and you may... Make first contact, this may result in peaceful trade <laughs> and alliance, or you may be exchanging missile fire right from the get-go. Can't say much about diplomacy and aliens since I've only come across one other species and all they did was decimate my ships with theirs that were three times as fast and five times as powerful. I think it may have been a precursor outpost. Combat also is combat is also immensely detailed with targeting for individual systems, ships or projectiles. The game also looks at the spread of damage from your weapons of choice, how it affects the enemy's armor and individual components with missiles, creating craters and lasers piercing through. It's only a short blurb about what the game has to offer, and since I'm still very new to the game, I'm sure it's full of holes and may have some very important missing content, a better way to learn. I'll probably read some after-action reports or just try the game out for yourself. It is free after all. And yeah, it has some links and stuff. Um... I'll probably put the uh, link to the Dwarf Fortress forum or Bay 12 forums uh, thread for it, since that has a bunch of links for the game itself and the forum. And uh, I, I honestly want to funnel as many people through Dwarf Fortress as I can. So slightly a selfish thing of my own. So yeah. So yeah, that didn't actually mention what it was based off of, but uh, Starfire, I remembered uh, an old tabletop RPG, and uh, various things like that. Um, it also, uh, the one, a book series, look it up, look the game up. It's really interesting, even if you don't want to play it, because the uh, after-action reports and LPs and stuff, well, I say LP, when I say that, I mean that in the not a video but in reports and stuff like uh forum threads and stuff like that and uh stories like i said steve made it for his own story creation kind of thing let's see anything else um right player race there's a bunch of different races that you can have it as um i wonder how much this affects the conventional start yeah it start it affects the number of starting resource things but uh if you have Trans-Newtonian Empire, it has a little more effect. The numbers down here are changing while I... Uh, I guess it doesn't have that much. Oh, starting tech points as well as being changed. So that's the thing. But I'm going to be... I'm going to turn off the missile bases. I don't... Eh, now nah, I'll leave them on. Why not? 
I can probably get rid of them if I don't want it. Bunch of different ones. They don't really have as much as you think. That has four starting resource bases. Um, but yeah, let's see. How's many? That's also got four. Okay. Despotism. You might note I'm looking at the ones where there's like, ooh, insane dictator. Oh, only one. Hmm. I could change the number. Hmm. Because I don't want to start with one research facility. Oh my, no. That would be, that would be a little bit of a, a little bit of a thing. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Religious aristocracy. Peaceful. Tax ordered socialism. Yeah, there's a total military theocracy. Lots of things. I think. Hmm. Benevolent dictatorship would be interesting. I'm um, sure. I'll go with that. Um, I'm going to number of soul jump points four. Hmm. I wish I could, like, put in a range, but four sounds good, I guess. Yeah, that seems good. Um, yeah, that'll do. And I'll click create game. And this will take a while. I'm not found in the collection. Okay, oh, and uh, error pop-up. Get used to them. They happen. Race generation complete starting is based on population size. This race appropriate did it based on two years at current level. Any non-player empires will now be created. This may take a while. Yeah, there we go. So, yeah. Basically, what I'm going for with the story for what this is is um, I finally get fed up with humans. Like, honestly, what's up with you people? Uh, people in general, stupid. Now, not you, because you're a specific person. People in general. There's a difference. You see, the difference is people, a person can be slightly selfish, but none of, their, none of the things they do is specifically trying to screw the, uh, anything over. Yeah, it seems good. And that'll pop up this. This is the only thing you start with, uh, but right away we'll go to the, uh, system map. Which appeared over here, which is annoying. I wonder if all of them are going to appear over there. I'm gonna move this over here just so I can use it if I need to. Let's see, is this the, uh, yeah, this is this. Um, I can't remember exactly what the, uh, symbols on it mean, but, uh, as you find more systems, it branches out and you can, uh, arrange them how you want. Main information. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's got some information here. Let you go through stuff, but not what I need right now. So we'll close that. There we go. And we'll open up research right away. Yeah, it did it did reset where all the windows went. Um, we start off with two researchers right now. They have a 10% bonus. One's logistics, one's defensive, as it says here. Research bonus is one times for non-special and four times for scientists specialized in it. So, if I put this guy as a logistics project, he'll have 40% bonus. So, you generally want to do that. Uh, first thing I'll note is that I have conventional industry. This provides, um, I think it's like one of each of the things or whatever. But I can't really do much with any of this right now. Installations, there's nothing here. The reason why is because of one research project that I need to do. Let's see, is it propul power propulsion? 
no. Fuel storage, no. Spinal mount, no. Ah, transnewtonian technology. These have a max lab, but none of that really matters right now. Uh, construction production, kind of sad that we don't have it, but there we go. Am I sure? Yes, I am. There we go. And it'll take till September 2020, or 6th September of year 2020. So it's going to take us five years just to research this transnewtonian technology before I can actually do anything of major importance. What I'm going to spend that time on is... Oh, wait, I can't make that. Hmm. Oh, and this is the starting mineral stuff. Hmm. Well, let's advance it 30 days. Why are you doing errors? Check crew morale. I don't have a ship. Hmm. Well, that's annoying. Okay, it looks like I'm going to have to start another game. I'm going to actually just going to get a fresh download. Don't know what's up with this. But yeah, um, kind of buggy. Yeah, kind of buggy. Okay, this is just going to be a clean install of it. It comes with a demonstration game by him, by Steve. Hmm. Try open it up. Nah. Um. Yeah. Let's uh. Let's actually open that up and show it. System map. Here we go. So yeah, that's a thing. It's pretty cool. What's up with that again? I can't remember. I don't know. Yeah, so he's got uh, quite a bit going on. Uh, this isn't what I wanted to show. What I wanted to show was potentially this. Yeah, here we go. This is the map that I was trying to show last time, but because I hadn't visited anywhere, there wasn't any other thing else to show. But No, how do I move it? Hmm. But yeah, I can move these around. Can't remember how. Okay, so that's how you move that. Oh well, whatever. So that's a thing. Game. Okay, let's try this. There we go, there we go, there we go. And now we're just going to delete that. There's no reason to delete it. You don't have to. It just, uh, it's just a thing. And, um, LP test. I'm kind of glad that it didn't work because this lets me roll for new scientists. Hopefully it works this time. So yeah, we'll just use the same kind of stuff. No, yes, no, no, don't know if it affects anything, but zero, no over, all kind of stuff, and leave that off, okay, there we go, flip that, Part short name, oh, I forgot to set the uh, empire name, so that's a thing, I guess, good thing I... Did this uh, conventional starts with five. So starting as a demo or uh, as a uh, benevolent dictatorship is a. <laughs> Dragon. No, no. What's a good empire title? Let's see. Let me think about that for a second. Okay, that's Dragon Heart Collective. Sure, why not? Don't really have a good name for it, but that'll do. Um, yeah, so. 
Oh, that seems a little, uh, that seems good. Switch that around, drag and click to Warhammer. Benevolent dictatorship with four starting. I'll roll for that. Yeah. Hmm. They all popped up right away, but doesn't seem to matter, so that's a thing. But yeah, as I was saying, I got fed up with humans, so I just took over. Yeah, now I'm kind of immortal god emperor thing. So that's a thing. <laughs> yes. So, so remember, you better not piss me off or within the next year or so I'm just going to take over everything. <laughs> That'd be so funny. It's like, yeah, ah, ah. it's like if it actually happened, my God, it's like I can just point. It's like, look, I warned you. <laughs> LP test. Why did I name it LP test? Ah, well, good enough. Select. So that was the thing. System map. And, uh, as I showed you before, it's got that same upper part. Doesn't really matter for this. You'll probably never see it after this, unless something... I don't think there's anything that would be up there that would force me to show it. So, first things first, we open up the research. Um, slightly better rolls on this. We've got a few of those, though I don't think any of them... I could ever remember which one it was that has it. Construction production? Actually, no. That's pretty good. We actually have a guy that has it. Um, here's something to note. He has four times, so he's as if he was 80% bonus. If I had some guy that only had a 5% bonus in it, this guy would still be better. So, watch out for that. Also, I only have four labs right now, but you can get quite a lot of them in Obviously, costs go up, so uh, eventually you're going to have where uh, the max lab is going to matter. And yes, I'll make that. There we go. And it's going to take actually uh, two years less than it was going to before, so that's always a nice thing. I generally like to make another couple of military academies. If we look here, a military academy is currently level one. What this means is every time you build a military academy, the level goes up. And that's how many uh, commander, leader types, like the scientists and stuff that you see there. This isn't like the list of every scientist we have. This is just the list of all the scientists that can lead a project. Presumably we've got a bunch of uh, smucks that can do it. We've got one shipyard, naval. Um, if anyone wants, anyone has a good name for the shipyard or wants the shipyard named after them, uh, go ahead, uh, comment it, and I will do that. Uh, basically, most of the things that can be named, I'm definitely willing to let people name them or be named or have them named after them. So that's always fun. And... Military Academy is about the only thing I can make right now, so I'll do it. It'll finish September 17th, which is actually, hmm, what would four of them? That would be September 2025. That's still a lot. Let's only make two of them then. That should finish closer to, yeah, good enough. Um, I'm going to click 30 days and hope this works. Uh, dang it. I'm going to get through all these errors and see if uh, I'm just unlucky. Well, I feel a bit of a... Yeah, a bit of a thing. A bit of a... A bit of a derp. Um, I actually knew about this, but I completely forgot to remember it. But uh, uh, the latest version, you want to put no missile bases for conventional start. LP game. There we go. Because, um, yeah, that's a thing. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> uh, yeah, this number is max number of systems. If I didn't say it before, it's, uh, uh, relatively big. 
and partly why I'm saying don't create one to start with, because uh, until you visit a place or some other alien race visits a place, you're pretty safe. Because uh, nothing's generated there. But once you visit, whatever's there, it's there. Life happens. So, yeah. If you have another active NPC or NPR, I guess would be the best way, as it says. Um, yeah. Dragon Heart. Dragonheart Collective. Collective sounded best when I was thinking it through, so I think I'll stick with it. No, no. Dragonheart Empire. Draco. Draco Media. Draco. Draco Empire. Draco Empire. Sure, that's a shorter name, I guess. Warhammer 40k. Might as well, since uh, basically these are just things that I'll probably end up renaming anyway. It'll make interesting names. Looks like it randomed into six. This basically is just showing me how many it starts with, I guess, because random is random. Uh, yeah, so... This should work now. This should work now. Um, yeah, I, I, I felt really uh, derpy. Yeah, this just showed up right away, no errors. So yeah, that's fine. Yeah, no missile base for conventional start. Um, also, um, I'm not sure if I'd advise conventional start for new people to... Uh, I'm not sure, actually. Don't... I don't know enough about this game. <laughs> it's a thing. But yeah, I'm gonna let this. Oh yeah, it's taking a while. This should work then. Okay, there we go. System map, and right, I want this over on the screen, and this over on the screen. There we go. So, yeah, this should work. Once again, I re-rolled the scientist, so we'll see what I ended up with this time. Um, mm -hmm. uh, oh well. Uh, construction, production, right? Yep. So this time we did not end up with anyone with construction, production, so uh, it'll take a while then. Yes, and you'll notice he can only have five laps at a time, so we were very close to maxing him out. Industry, create a military academy. We'll create a couple military academies because I can't do anything else until that's done. And yeah, we'll see if this actually works this time. Hey, it works. Um, let's see. This window that I just opened up, I kind of like. It shows uh, production stuff. If you're over here, it shows some whatever's imminent to be done. So if this was closer to being done, it would show it. And same here. Uh, it's only auto turn. There's a little thing that says auto turn that you can select, and I. Hopefully that works. Yeah, there we go. Auto turning. It looks pretty cool. Let's see. So we're gonna. I wish there was a. Oh, no, not wish. Um, what is it? I'm thinking of. Oh, well. Anyway, I'm God Emperor basically, uh, which I guess is a good reason to go with the 40k theme. I'm kind of like uh, the God Emperor, but not such a. Uh, I'm not stuck on a golden throne requiring all the psychics they can provide to keep me up and running. Is that the thing? It look like the looks like the research finished. I don't know when it did that. I thought it was uh, 
2020 something that finished. Must have been some kind of breakthrough. Um, and we have a few more scientists now. So that's always nice. Um, since this is a conventional start, I because you don't have many labs to start with and all that, I tend to take it slower. Um, yeah, Military Academy level 2. And you notice there's a bunch more stuff to do. Um, mining and construction. Anything we don't have a very good supply of. Iridium. Not sure what that's used for. Cause I, some of these like uh, Mercassium, I know that's research places. But yeah. Um, conventional industry I'm going to convert into stuff like mines and construction factories and whatnot. I think what it does is provide uh, like a mine provides 10 uh, same for like these and then the conventional provides one factory, one fuel one mine I think or something along that lines but yeah first things first I'm going to schedule converting 100 conventional to construction factory then 100 mines because it's in a queue it'll use 100% of the industry and it'll do those so after that I'll have only 700 conventional industry left and with that I'm going to split it 50-50 between the two and I'll probably end up modifying it if I need anything specific right away like reduce it down or something but let's see so 50 mines making let's see it be so can't make 500 each so let's make 300 yeah 300 mines and 300 of those there so this will complete then this will start and go till it's completed. Then this will go until it's completed. And then these two will be working at the same time. What'd that do? Oh, that's that. Okay, cool. Um, and now we need to decide what research things to research. Um, I generally like to go with whatever scientists I currently have. Uh, I try to keep any scientist I have that has 30 bonus or better or better than 15 bonus actually doing stuff obviously not always possible and there's a power and propulsion which I'll be using down there at the bottom but this guy mm, I generally use the fuel storage large pretty quickly so we'll create that or not create it but research it and then defensive systems I'm not sure if uh, spreading out like this is the best option, but it's the option I generally go with for conventional. So that's a thing. And then another in defensive, I don't particularly want that, but... Hmm. Um, let's see what... Is there any really cheap text to pick up? There's lasers. I don't really want to do energy weapons right away because they take a bit to actually be useful for main weapon what I'd want is missiles and there's a, there's a guy with 10% missile huh. you know no no we'll just go straight to the polar power and propulsion Blew, words and we'll start right up on the pressurized water reactor I think is the one I want yeah that's the one I want and we'll assign this guy to labs create yes and now we've got them finishing within the next couple, next two years. But yeah. Uh, also things you can do is queue up stuff. So let's say I wanted to queue something on the logistics guy, which I probably would. Let's go to logistics and see what we got. Um, there's all kinds of things. Um, I'm not going to be moving population around for a bit another fuel storage I guess that is something I could add um oh small engineering <laughs> ah cargo handling 
So I select it. I don't know if that means anything, but so I have the guy selected. I have the project selected, and then I come down here. Might be out of you. Let me move this up. Um, it might still. There we go. Um, and there's a button that says Q. Press that, and it puts it to Q. So the next, so when he finishes that job, he'll instantly start on that. So uh, you don't lose any. Since I tend to go in 30-day increments, unless there's a fight or something important going on. I generally lose some work time on the guys. By doing this, I don't lose anything because he goes right into make into doing it. So that's a thing. I think that's good enough for now. Um, definitely gonna have to uh, see if people are interested in this. Um, I'm. I might continue this LP. Uh, I'm not. Hmm. It's really going to depend on how easy it is to uh, create the videos for it and uh, how many people watch it. Because, like, if I manage to bring in 100 views on a video of this, it's like, well, I guess that's a good enough reason to do it. Because, as it is, about the peak I get is Cataclysm with 50. It averages around 40 views or so, so that's pretty good for me. But, like, if something managed to go and peak, like, oh, you're getting hundreds of views. I'm like, oh, hmm, maybe I want to make more of those. But, you know, I'm not going to require that, but that would be definitely a point where, oh, yes, I'll definitely do it. So, yeah. Hopefully uh, people like this, and if they do, and it's not too hard to record and edit, this will definitely be something I'll do a lot of. So, yeah. This is Zachary Dreyhardt, and I'm signing off.